the beginning of the project, small excavation pits are made, or existing shaft structures are prepared. The pipe is taken out of service and drained. The host pipe is inspected with a CCTV wagon to check for debris, sediment, any damaged areas, and obstructions such as protruding plugs and welds. A rope connection is established between the excavation pits. The host pipe must be cleaned until the free inner pipe diameter is produced. The use of spring steel scrapers and rubber washers has proven effective. Hydrodynamic cleaning methods can also be used for large volume and stubborn debris and sediment. Plugs and weld seams protruding into the cross-section are removed using a milling robot. The cleaning success is checked and documented with a second inspection. The customer receives this documentation. The liner is folded into a U-shape at the factory, fixed in this shape with adhesive tape and wound onto a transport reel. This drum is placed at the starting pit. Depending on the liner diameter, the length of the liner to be pulled in and the bends in the section, either a rope or a pulling head is attached for the insertion of the liner. The liner is pulled into the old pipe using a winch set up at the target pit. By applying compressed air, maximum 1.0 bar, the adhesive tape is broken and the liner is formed into a round shape. Connectors, developed and produced at Primus Line, are then mounted onto the liner. Different connectors are available depending on the intended use. The Primus Line system is checked for proper installation and leak tightness by means of a pressure test and subsequently handed over to the customer. A fitting piece is used to connect the installed system to the existing pipe network. Primus Line projects are planned in-house and installed by trained experts. Pipelines for water, gas, oil and other media can be rehabilitated safely and flexibly. In addition, Primus Line offers an alternative for the temporary above-ground transport of demanding media. Primus Line